So, jive daja. Love to ourselves. Love for all beings. And love for the divine couple. Then, Nameruchi, great taste for the holy name awakens, and then Vaishnava Seva, living with, listening to. And serving the Vaishnavas. This is the perfection of life. And under the loving guidance of a loving Sri Gurudev, it is possible even for me in this material world it is possible under all <coughs> circumstances okay that has stopped so this is a guru dev saying Listening and serving Vaishnava, this is a perfection of life. Why this is a perfection of life? Let, let us explain. Nice question. So, condition life starts forgetting Radha Mohan. And then start thinking, self-identity, we are thinking, I'm this body. And then another idea is, whatever belongs to this body is mine. This is actually wrong conception of life. It is called false ego. So why? We are thinking like this because we are forgetting we are soul. We are forgetting our relationship with the Lord, our Ishtadeva. So therefore, we are thinking I am this body. Whatever belongs to this body is mine. All misery, all suffering, coming from this mis misconception of life. But uh, it is difficult to destroy this misconception because we are thinking, I'm right, you are wrong. <laughs> this is part of the same consciousness. I'm right. Yes, I'm right, <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> you did mistake, I'm right. So everybody thinking my idea is great. I'm better person, best person. Many people thinking like this, especially in this material world. Mm. Also teacher or parents teaching us to, uh, to, to grow in this false conception of life. So therefore material education is actually not real education because they don't teach real conception of life, real identity. So how to break this, this misconception? We have to hear from Sadhu Guru Vaishnava. And then if we hear then slowly, slowly, we understand 
No, actually, I'm not this body. I'm spirit soul. Also, I have relationship with the Lord. Especially, we are thinking we are master. If we serve Vaishnava, this is actually real position because we are servant of the Lord. So we are serving servant of the Lord. I think Bhagatam say, Krishna say, someone claim I am servant of Krishna. That is not real servant. Real servant means I am servant of servant of, of the Supreme Lord. This is real servant. So serving Vaishnava is, yes, and Krishna will please very much and give us blessing. So that blessing, our misconception of life will break. So therefore, this is a very important Gurudev mention. Under the loving guidance of loving Shri Gurudev, is, it is possible even for me in this material world under all circumstances. But without mercy of Gurudev, without loving guidance of Gurudev, it is impossible to break this for the sake. It is impossible to to get out of this material, material entanglement, condition life. This I feel, this, this is very important. And Gurudev now very much stressing, listening nicely, this is very important. And also, bhajan nicely. This is also important. Also serving nicely, that is very important. So this paragraph, just to, uh, we, are re, we are every morning, we had a, a Guru Dev's association and Guru Dev's sharing, also other devotees sharing. This also, including this, this very important uh, teaching. Rade, rade. You want to Krishna, you wanted to no. say something. I want to remark one point mm -hmm. that the immaterial world mm. uh, the problem is that we are training it to be in competition. Yeah. And competition gives suffering. Yeah. <laughs> Divinity that is in us forget this, so he wants to go in competition mm. and then he has to pass all the kind of a reaction. Mm. <laughs> so the perfection is a serving Vaishnava. Wow. Because no competition, only loving competition. Wow. <laughs> How you serve us more with more loving or with this competition is in, is beautiful. Mm. Huh? Mm. Because he creates more competition to love more. You know, it's infinite, no? Mm. <laughs> but in the material world, this is a destroy the soul, mm. the so, spirit. So material world is like is a force, a of, comp force of a competition, Compet moving everything. Ah. You can we can see day yeah. by day, yes. daily. Wow. I just want to make this wow. my wow. opinion point. The other is, is perfect because you're <laughs> serving Vaishnava, as you say, is the perfection. Guru Deva yeah, said, this is Guru Deva said. <laughs> no, all I'm the Vedas saying. said the same. Yes. <laughs> From the, our parampara. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, someone else would like to add something? <laughs> so we were reading uh, page nine. The end of page 9 and page 10 just beginning then the repetition of almost all comes by by some uh, divine arrangement <laughs> so now <laughs> yeah. no 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 it was page 9 yeah. but and the then beautiful, page 10, beautiful. 10. Beautiful. yeah and now we will jump to page 13 wow. yeah because uh, this uh, yeah 10 11 12 is again a yeah, copy paste somehow. Radha's mercy. 
Okay, someone would like to add something, some comment, some experience? Share with us. Hmm? Okay. In any time, the art connections are entirely individual, it's permitted. I think, yeah. The need is there. Yeah, that's fine. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> this what we were reading first was a say uh, based on a lecture given by uh, Gurudev in USA 2011. This essay was written by Tarun Govinda Das. And now we move to chapter one, Merciful Incarnation. Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, Doya Koromore, Tomabina Ke Doyalu Jagat Samsare. My dear Lord Chaitanya, please be merciful to me because who can be more merciful than your Lordship within these three worlds? We all are very fortunate. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared on this earth just recently. He is the most merciful incarnation of Shri Shri Radha and Krishna combined. Here, in this song, Shri comes before Krishna. Shri here means Srimati Radhika. So, Krishna appeared as Sriman Mahaprabhu with the mood of Radha. When he bestowed what he bestowed to the living entities, no one has ever given before. Some people may say, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared just recently? No, 500 years ago, or 530, 30, you know, some years ago. It's, is, is it recently or not? Some devotee may question. So Brahma's one day is 8.6 billion years. Hmm? My God. <laughs> so, and uh, at that time, days that have, nights that have. So, and uh, we had such a yuga, Tureta yuga, and uh, Doapara yuga, and Kali yuga. That cycle uh, continued 1,000 times in, in this Brahma's day. So, and then this Kali yuga, special Kali yuga, which 1,000 
one time. Special Kali Yuga. So this Kali Yuga, so Mahaprabhu appears. So we say about 500 years ago, compared to 8.6 billion years, <laughs> is recently. <laughs> And another point, Guru Dev very, very nicely comment. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, real name is Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Shri means Radhika, and Krishna is Krishna. So Shri Krishna means Radha Krishna, and combine. That's consciousness has. That's uh, Chaitanya. Chaitanya means consciousness. So Chaitanya the consciousness is two. Actually, actually, Radha's Baba, but also sometimes appear Krishna's. So anyway, Chaitanya map the combined home and Radha and Krishna. What some devotee may add, maybe Manjari Baba also, you are Mahaprabhu. Display Manjari Baba also? Yes. Some, some certain point, Mahaprabhu dis display that feeling, showing us some, some of Lila. So, and then this very interesting point Gurudev mentioned. What he bestowed to the living entities, nobody has ever given before. This is the next sentence. Mm -hmm. We say, Unna to Ujjwara Rasa. Mm -hmm. Ujjwara Rasa means Madura Rasa. Gopi Baba. Saki Baba. But Mahaprabhu showing us very special Baba. That Baba, it is called uh, Baba Urasa. Rasa. Generally speaking, we say Manjari Baba. The mood of Radharani is made servant. Why this is special? Because Radharani is made servant knows Radha's feeling most. Actually, Radha's feeling and the Manjari Kinkari's feeling is same. Therefore, Sometimes Manjari's body. Fatueba Radhika taste. Fatueba Radhika appears. That symptom sometimes Manjari's body appears. Like Birapax Manjari's first bus. Radhika's lips cut by a parrot. <laughs> Special parrot. Best of parrots. Best of parrots. <laughs> and then also Rupa Manjari's this lips also cut by very special parrot. So anyway, so actually Rupa, go, Rupa Manjari's lips does not cut by special parrot, but uh, some others automatically appear her body. Because they are so, so feeling is so identical. Because Manjari has no personal desire. Only desire to serve Shirimati Radhika. So this is a very, very important point, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much. So actually, we are very beginner. I talked to some devotee today, Japanese devotees. 
and they felt sometimes difficult to listen this kind of high topics, manjaris, unnato juwarara sats, and very strict sadhus life. And today, we are fortunately this Japanese sangha. There are many senior devotees is also there all over the world. We are very lucky. But in the other hand, I saw now their names, Japanese, my friends, sisters and brothers. We need all my basic things if possible. Why Chajanya Mahaprabhu is important? And why this topic is coming first in this book? I would like to ask this from all of you. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. I answer you. Jai Guru Dev. What is mean Chaitanya? is a Hindi word. English say. Consciousness. 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 <laughs> so, consciousness of Radha and Mohan only can keep the maid servant of Radha Ram. Wow. wow. That is, you say, Manjari Bhav, Hindi, or Kinkiri Bhav. But the consciousness of the Chaitanya is consciousness. Chaitanya means conscious. I am unconscious or conscious to judge. I am same time, sometime conscious and sometime I am unconscious. Check that. The moment you are conscious, because some realization of Radha or Krishna is there, words are coming. In your heart, in your mind, you become conscious. And that moment you are dasi, you understand, you are very close to that person. When very close to that moment, conscious, this closeness, what you give name, <coughs> that consciousness, we say Manjari Bhav. If I want to develop this, then I have to live in conscious position. How you will do, you can do yourself, or you can learn the practice how to be conscious. If you like it, you have to find it out. Rade, Rade. If I am conscious with material thing, I like that, I do that, and I create new suffering. Okay, good. <clears throat> Enjoy this suffering. But if you are conscious, you are not suffering because of your consciousness. You solve the suffering of others. Mm. And you call, you remove your suffering inside. Today I was listening that Sadhvi Compassion classes. Hmm. What is the name? Compassion Challenge. Compassion Challenge. I was so surprised to see this. I listen all the classes. Wow. And I see she is sharing to no one who knows her the consciousness. And she made the conscious that moment to them. They start feeling and they start living in now. This is consciousness. We not live in now. <laughs> this is the one reason of unconsciousness. Mm -hmm. 
राइट की छोरी अंडरस्टैंड सो हु लाइक टू बी विथ महाभूत विथ द घोस्ट प्रीवियस थिंकिंग दे विल नॉट लाइक टू बी कॉन्स बट द प्रीचर हु हैज अ लव who has a realization to live in consciousness they can enlighten them and slowly this light can grow in the form also you see a stand in the highway auto one <laughs> and you see the spark if you have a time stay there you will see the light some big light small light again wait some more time then you will see two lights <laughs> one light many lights then you understand maybe truck motorcycle a car and then car come to your front then you see oh This car is BMW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this car is the red color of the car. Is a four door or two door? <laughs> you feel a car, but we are patients. No. Then we can <laughs> see it, and we are very happy with the spark. We don't <laughs> want to see it. Or we are happy with the light. We don't want to wait for that. This is our condition. We have no time. Then we are happy with the spark, our light. And if I want to see the form and I want to feel it, then we have to wait it. But it will come, and I need to go with a boom. <laughs> Not his thing. So this is where we see that, and then more desire to buy this car. We <laughs> see in that. We can try to step by step. If you have a wish, you will say no. no. This is the one of the best cars. in the world uh, to sit and be comfortable that is the way you know then we want to be with that certain certain chance right but if you are conscious if you have no time then nothing happen <laughs> ओके that i want to share because it's so kind of yeah. thank you very much thank you very much can i see gallery please yeah yeah actually you're hiding ma bakti hima giri de de chabana de de gora chandra pro with hiding okay let's see let's see ひまぎりでいいですかピアノ。おお、ひま、おお、チャンバナーさん。ひまぎりさん。ソーリー。ああ、はい、はい、はい。ひまぎりさん。ソーリー。ああ、はい、はい。ひまぎりさん。ソー
as a, what is she picking? What are you, Himageri? What are you, what are you picking for your students when they come as a bhakti entrance? Entrance into bhakti. What is, yeah, is it? What is the question? Ah, Utkalika is uh, repeating, uh, translating. What was your question? Question. Could, could, you, could you again question? Ah, <laughs> so what, what is, what does she pick as a, like a thing to uh, take people into bhakti, like first entrance, like ah. where she opens the doors with what subject oh, and how I she does it. Okay, okay, okay. No. 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 ラデラデ、マフティ。あの、そうですね。最初に必ずマハーマントラを一緒に歌うところからスタートしています。ファーストシースター。アイトランスレートビザ。あ、オープンチャンネル。ファーストアイスタートとチャント。マハーマントラ。マハーマントラの説明はすごくビギナー用に用意しています。I prepare explanation of the meaning of マハーマントラ for beginners. うん。ただ私の心情としては but actually, my honest feeling is that. Actually, I see all my students as Gift from Rada. Sweeteno Hitono Shiaoseo Negate Mahamantrao Saishoni Watashtimas. First, I give Mahamantra for praying to happiness of all living entities. Mahamantrao Saishoni Utaito Shishitanoa Gurudevis. Because Guru Dev suggested to me, first you should sing Maha Mantra together. After that, I always follow Guru Dev's suggestion. That's why I give always Maha Mantra first. 会場の半分以上が涙を流しました。When I chanted the Maha Mantra first time, then uh, in seminar, then half of students were crying. 50人以上でしょうか? Maybe over 50 students, 50 students over crying. 何が起きてるのかみんな不思議に思っていました。My students think thought, what happened? They are very wondered. 私はクルテープに従って最初にマハマントラを渡してるだけです。But actually, I just follow Gurudeva's suggestion. That's why just I give Maha Mantra only. これがあの最初の人に初めてやっていることになります。
But always keep humbleness. When you become famous, don't be proud of that. Always humble and always kind to everyone. And keep always self-smooth. Right? This is very important. Radhe, yeah. <laughs> Radhe. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Gurudev. Radhe, Radhe. Okay. We will continue reading. So, this what we just read was from the lecture Guru Dev gave in Germany 2012. Now, we will read from a morning next lecture 12th December 2013 in Chaitanya Charitamrita Adilila we find May that Lord, who is known as the son of Srimati Shachi Devi, be transcendentally situated in the innermost chambers of your heart. Brilliant with the radiance of molten gold, he has appeared in the age of Kali by his causeless mercy. To bestow what no incarnation ever offered before, the most sublime and radiant spiritual knowledge of the highest taste of service to Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. He came to give us the possibility to love Krishna in the mood of the inhabitants of Raja. And most of all, in the mood of the pure cowherd maidens headed by Krishna's most beloved Srimati Radhika. He did not consider who is qualified and who is not. He gave away freely this purest of love of God. He 
he also told us what is the way to realize this love. It is only possible by chanting <laughs> the holy names of God. We find in Chaitanya Charitamrita, again in Adi Lila, in this age of Kali, there is no other means. There is no other means. There is no other means for, for self-realization then chanting the holy name, chanting the holy name, chanting the holy name of Lord Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare, Hare. <coughs> These names will take the soul on a journey towards the final goal, pure love for God. <coughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself <coughs> did not write any books about bhakti philosophy. He gave this monumental, huge task to his most intimate, most close followers, the Goswamis of Vrindavan, especially to Srila Sanatana Goswami, Srila Rupa Goswami, and Srila Ragunath Das Goswami. Srila Sanatana Goswami was instructed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to write about Sambandha Tattva. The knowledge of our relationship with Sri Sri Radha Krishna. Sri Rupa Goswami received from, from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the mission to elaborate in his books on Abhidheya Tattva. To write about the path of bhakti so that all devotees can follow this path of love easily. Yeah. 
and Raghunath Das Goswami was instructed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to write about the highest goal on the path of bhakti, Prayojana Tattva. Guru, they would say, Prema Prayojana Tattva. That is culminating in the highest service to Srimati Radharani, and it's called Radha Dasyam. I, I have my question. Yeah, one question come to me. Now here Guru Dev mentioned Sanatana Goswami teach Sambanda relationship. But actually relationship means five kind of rasa relation, right? This is Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu by Rupa Goswami. My question is that I feel Rupa Goswami teaches five relationships in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Then, what Sanatana Goswami teach as a Sambanda Acharya? This is my question, Radhe Radhe. Sanatana Goswami teaches relation. But actually, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu clearly mentioned five kinds of rasa with Krishna, right? That's why I feel maybe basic question. I cannot, I, I, I cannot understand clearly. Not all, why Sanat, what is the point of Sanatana Goswami relationship? Because Rupa Goswami clearly mentioned five kinds of rasa. This is my question. Maybe Gora Chandra, Gora Chandra ji, would you, would you help us to some sharing in this question and if this we are needing if it is possible <laughs> rade, rade. yeah <clears throat> i don't know exactly what sanatan goswami is teaching but i know what gurudev is teaching And he gave us mantra, diksha. There's our Sambanda and the Abhideya and the Prayojan is there. And yeah, I don't want to know so much what are all the rasas and what are all the different relationships. I only want to follow one Sambanda that I am Dasi of Srimati Radharani and serving Radha and Krishna. That is uh, sufficient for me. And I'm thinking that Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, they're speaking also in general things, but in their own practice, they are also fixed in one rasa and in one sambanda. Rupa Goswami is Rupa Manjari, Sanatan Goswami, Labanga Manjari. So, They want to show us Sambanda as a Manjari. They want to show us how to practice that. And Raghunath Goswami showing us what is the goal. So I think at one point it's needless 
to know everything about the rasas and the different relationships. Just fix yourself in one thing and practice that. That would be my answer. <laughs> wow, very beautiful. Thank you very much. <clears throat> very beautiful. <clears throat> Yeah, I I can add something. What we are reading before, what Andakaji was reading before about Mahaprabhu, that he is the most merciful incarnation. So every incarnation of Krishna is merciful because he always appears when the Sanatan Dharma is destroyed. He has mercy with the jivas and he again and again he brings the knowledge for all the jivas to come out of the samsara to find a way back in the consciousness of being a soul, not belonging in material world, but to the spiritual world. So in that sense, God is always merciful with the jivas. But Mahaprabhu, he is specially merciful. He is overflowing with compassion because he can see the condition of the jivas in Kali Yuga. They will never find the way out of the samsara. We are so fallen, even if they teach the rules, nobody can follow that. So that incites so much compassion that Goranga becomes overflowing with compassion. And Advaita Acharya is calling for Mahaprabhu to appear. Advaita Acharya, he is God. He is the Narayan. But his power in Kali Yuga is not sufficient to help the Jivas. The only thing that can help the Jivas in Kali Yuga is unconditional love. No rules, no regulations. <laughs> Nobody can follow. <laughs> so that overflowing compassion Is the unique quality of Mahaprabhu. Mm. But there is also more. He not only taking us by the hand and showing the way out from the samsara, giving us mukti, <laughs> liberate us from material conditions. not only bringing us to the Vaikuntha planets, and he ought he taking us not only by the hand, and he only not taking us to his lap, showing us the sweetness of Vrindavan. bringing more near to himself, the jiva. Mahaprabhu is so overflowing with compassion that he wants to take us in his heart. Not only by the hand, not only in the lap, 
you want to take us in the heart that means becoming a manjari of shrimati radha the heart of mahaprabhu is radha and krishna leela he want to bring us there he want to take us to his heart so that is so unique so that he become uh vadanya most nice and then when ma bhakti himagiri was speaking that she is giving the mantra to the people who coming new and i am remembering prabhupad when he was on the jaladuta and when he came to the port of boston and then he saying oh, oh krishna i don't know why you bring me here i have no idea what to do i don't know how i can talk to the people but i believe in the power of your holy name so just make me instrument i don't know anything so ma bhakti ma gidi following same mood becoming instrument what we can teach to someone who coming to us don't know anything about something but she has so much faith and holy name that she just give the name and say chant connect with the happiness for all jeevas so that is great i like to listen shri radhe thank you so much radhe very beautiful so after hearing gora chandra's in uh, you know, words i little bit to i feeling as a krishna's incarnation take us to say baikunta krishna's office like uh, but uh, mahaprabhu is radha's mood so mahaprabhu bring us to the not only house but also living room and bedroom <laughs> so very intimate room also mahaprabhu guide us to the to the forum condition so like me like us so generally speaking if we are working in a company we don't invite another coworker to the house we don't invite like this we don't invite very few very intimate person may invite but radical case mahaprabhu's case he does not care qualification he invite on home not only living room very confidential room also he invite for in condition so this is amazing nobody did like this so gora chandra and ma bhakti himagiri uh, give us so much inspiration because they are following mahaprabhu and guru dev's mission so thank you very much radhe so, radhe may i may i uh, say something to kishore sure ah about your question 
uh, of the difference what uh, Sanatana Goswami was explaining and Rupa Goswami in Sambanda Gyan. As I understand from your question, you are asking how is it different and why he is asking or why he, he has explained already the rasas. So Sanatana Goswami, he gives the general Sambanda Gyan, Kiyami, who am I? Mm -hmm. It's about the soul who is lost in this material world and is asking, why am I here? What is this life about? So he gives this uh, general Sambanda means relationship. Oh, you are the servant of the divine. You are the servant. You are eternal. That you have to realize. And then because Sanatana Goswami, he is like the teacher also of Rupa Goswami. And Rupa Goswami, he is the younger brother. So he gave more knowledge about the different kinds of relationship that a soul can have. First, we have to feel that I am the soul, I am here in a special body and life and country I was born. Oh, how do I get out of this limited perception of myself? Oh, I am a spirit soul, I belong to the divine super soul. And then Rupa Goswami, he goes deeper. Oh, if I want to revive my relationship, then there are the rasas, the different possibility to go in relationship. Not only knowing I'm a soul and, you know, part of the supreme soul. No, I am. I can go in a really personal relationship. That was the explanation of, or you can say the commentary of Rupa Goswami giving all the different relationships that the soul can have. And from there, when the soul is in soul consciousness, when the soul becomes conscious, then the soul can have and choose even the relationship that they want to the divine. And the other question, what you had before, Kishore, you want to inspire us to speak about the reason why Lord Chaitanya has come and why it is so special. I would like to say that uh, Shimati Radhika is now with Krishna. And she is the one who gives all the different relationships actually. She even makes him conscious about himself, but to speak about us. So the, she is the pleasure-giving force. She is prema. She is that highest, the highest servant and the most intimate of Krishna's heart, the most intimate person. So we, I think there's so many ways how to feel that it is so special that we are blessed that Lord Chaitanya is here, that we are able to, you know, and she is still here. They never disappear, only externally. Because before in all the incarnation, Krishna comes alone. He is Vayam Bhagavan. He is the personality that can do anything in any universe. In any circumstances where the earth or the people of the earth are in danger. So he is rescuing as the, you know, different, different person and personalities that he becomes. But when he comes together with his beloved Shimati Radhika, then he is Gauranga Sundara, Gaura Sundara. Like would is so beautiful to say, Shri Chaitanya means the consciousness. And now this consciousness is a special consciousness that we are getting. 
it comes like in a journey, like Gurudev says, it's a journey of the soul. But the highest consciousness that was never been given before, that is that we can, like Jainanda Maharaj said so nicely, come so close to the divine couple by the mercy of Sri Mati Radhika. She makes me conscious. She makes Krishna conscious and she makes all of us conscious with Krishna's service. So we can come so close and we have so much mercy that it's possible because she is there. When they come together, then it's like an opening of a possibility that is not always there. Because out of all the incarnations of the divine, of Krishna, this one is so special. That's rare when he comes, when they come together. So that is a special possibility. And, and there are many, many levels where we are in our journey. And I think that those who are blessed by the mercy of Sri Guru, by the mercy of Audi Guru Dev, Nittai, Ananga Mandre, they get the intelligence how to explain and to exchange these feelings that come with all you know, our stages and our journey, that it is inspiring for the people on whichever level they are. And it will not be difficult. It will always be inspiring on every step of our journey. And it will be always new and fresh. I'm sorry, I hope. It's what I felt for you. Thank you for sure. Uh, thank you very much, Ma Bhakti Himagiri Didi, Gora Chandra Prabhu, Suniti Didi, Jananda Maharaj, and Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj. We are very lucky. Just this only one hour, I feel very full of love. <laughs> yes, Chaitanya's gift is this Rashka Association. <laughs> Thank you very much. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. Shiva Rupa Goswami writes in his Shri Shri Utkalika Valari, verse 66. <coughs> Your great devotees that are full of pure love for you desire a bird as even a blade of grass here in Vraj and somehow despite of my low background, I was so fortunate, so lucky to attain a residence in Vraj. So now I openly in front of all, offer my obeisances unto your mercy on the fallen souls.
Gurudev is commenting. Think of Chaitanya as Radhika. Then Rasa starts flowing. Radhika herself came as Chaitanya to open the hidden storehouse of Vraja's Prema. Radhika is very personal. Love is very personal. When love takes a form, it's Radha. <clears throat> so Guru Dev say think of Chaitanya as Radhika then Rasa starts flowing so and Pabupada uh, explain uh, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, sometimes Shri Krishna himself. And uh, especially Guru Dev stressing Chaitanya's Radhika. So I was wondering how can I solve this, this, this difference? Mm. So my understanding, my my feeling is like this. General point of view, point of view, or by the point of view, actually Krishna incarnate as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is also true. But uh, someone who enter Raganuga Bhakti, Raga Bhajan, then that's Devotees uh, become one point to Radharani, Radha Adik Sneha. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu become Radhika. And then if we think Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Radhika, then Raga, so much feeling, Lasa is flow, flowing. Because if Krishna himself say Krishna Krishna is no meaning, only Radhika can say, oh Krishna, ha Krishna. And Braja also, Braja mood is Braja, especially Brindavan, is kingdom of Radhika. Brindavan's queen is Radhika, not Krishna. Krishna's like a coward boy, gardener, watchman. So Radhika is main. So Raganuga Bhajan is center is Radhika. Because we want to be Dasi of Radhika. So Gora Chandra said, I'm not interested in other rasa. No, actually, I'm, I want to be one point to Radhika, Radhika's seva. So this Gurudev is, this mentioned. And also this love takes a home. That is Radhika. 
Actually, if we are in proper mood, proper consciousness, we can find out anywhere love. Even in the, in the air, we may find out love. Or in the field, we may find out love. Or in the animals, we may find out love. Just a matter of our consciousness. And then, this saying, love takes home, love becomes very condensed. Prema has a different stage. Sneha, mana, pranaya, raga, anuraga, baba, mahababa. So, very condensed. That's mahababa's form is radika. So, fatoeba, <coughs> love is there. Radika is there, actually. So, this Gurudev's amazing word, actually. It's, it's Gurudev's word, really, Rashka word. By the Bhakta, it, it is very difficult to understand. So, but uh, <coughs> if we enter Raganuga Bhajan, I, I hope, I think slowly, slowly we may understand. Rade, rade. <coughs> rade, rade. If I can say something, wow. I'm sorry for my broken voice. <coughs> so Gurudev is saying here, Radhika herself came as Chaitanya to open hidden storehouse of Raja Prem. So only Radhika can open this storehouse <laughs> of Raja Prem. No one else. <clears throat> because the storehouse is Radhika's heart. And only if she agree to open her heart, then the mercy of prema, mercy of love, is available to everyone. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. So, to think that Chaitanya is a Radhika is the ultimate conclusion about Gora Tattva. And without that, like Gurudev is saying, rasa cannot start to flow. <laughs> it's important to understand that rasa is like an ocean but without waves, like Gurudev is saying, without feelings, emotion, ocean doesn't have any meaning of existence. Mm. And it's quite boring. Mm. <laughs> but because Radhika voluntarily, mercifully, generously agree to open the heart, Krishna jump inside that heart. He tried to stall that heart, to drink the nectar from that storehouse of Radhika's heart. Because this is the only way when she allowed him to come completely in that in her heart, heart that he can feel at least a little bit how much she loves him. And when he tasted that, immediately compassion, more compassion than usually he has, more compassion appear in his heart and say, okay, I want to give to this Jiva Buddha's conditioned souls in Kali Yoga. 
Hmm. So this is the special generosity, kindness, which can be found only in Sri Radhika, which Goranga brought. He brought it from transcendental world. He brought it in the material world. And <clears throat> as we know, Radha and Krishna are always <clears throat> present in Goloka Vrindavan. They have their pastimes, but because they wanted to relish Parakya Baba, they came in an earth, Rajabhumi, to manifest this very risky, forbidden love exchange, Parakya Baba. But at the same time, in Goloka Vrindavan, there is this one special place, Shvetadip, where Goranga is making his kirtans with all his associates. And they are relishing the holy name in this eternal spiritual world. But something also miss to them. Because Goranga is full of compassion to whom he will give compassion in Goloka Dham. His audaria, his generosity can, cannot be fulfilled in Goloka Dham. So he is coming in, in the planet Earth to be so kind and generous and to give to the Kali Yuga jivas, only this Kali Yuga, not the next and next and next, later on. This possibility, like Sunitiji said, to, to attain this most and highest taste of service of Yuga Lakishore in the mood of Manjari Bhav. So, when he came, yes, he tasted Radha Bhava, but also, like you all said very nicely, he gave, not Radha Bhava, but how to become Radha Dasi and chanting the holy name like a process and in the same time the goal. So this Audarya mood, generosity mood, shortly to say, is the sign of sweetness. Someone who is really sweet, he is full of love and he has all qualities. And because all qualities are present in his existence, he is sweet. And one of the symptoms of sweetness is that he is very kind, unlimitedly kind, unlimitedly generous. And he doesn't care who is qualified, who is not qualified to bring him in this direct service of embodiments of sweetness. So, when we understand, like my God, <coughs> sister and brothers explained so nicely how and what is the <coughs> importance in our life of appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then heart will start to melt. We will feel his generosity and we will know and also feel that behind his generosity, is the storehouse of Radhika's heart. And from that storehouse, all emotions, all love is simply showering everyone in the waves, in the huge waves, in the small waves, but in the waves, waves, waves. 
बिकॉज शी इज महाभाव स्वरूपिनी राधे ठाकुर सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट इट टू से राधे राधे